Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Austin and today I'm back with a brand new video. Today we'll be focusing entirely on how to record your favorite PC games for free using OBS. So OBS is a great tool, you can download it from the obsproject.com, it'll be in the description down below so you can check it out. It's 100% free, it's awesome, it's free to use, it's great, uh, I will always recommend using OBS. In the past I've used Fraps, as you know I have the most viewed Fraps video on the interwebs currently at 950,000 views. Uh, if you're probably watching this video from being linked from the Fraps video, so keep that in mind. Uh, Fraps is good, but OBS is just a whole other level above. It's free, whereas Fraps costs money. You can record different separate audio tracks with OBS, you can stream with OBS. It's just better and really recommend you give it a shot. So OBS Studio, download it, and let's jump right into how to use it. So first of all, you want to go to the File, and then go Settings tab at the top. I like to change my theme to Dark because it looks just sharper, it's less shocking on the eyes. Go to Output, I won't be going over streaming today, I'll be going over recording. Streaming is a whole other animal, so I won't be touching that today whatsoever. So go to your output mode, change that to advanced, and then go to the recording tab. And then make sure uh, you want to set your recording path, this is where you can actually record your files too. So I have a folder called uh, PVR on my secondary hard drive that I always record all my files to. Uh, next up, you want to set, make sure your format's saved to an MP4, that's very important. And now here's audio tracks. This is, this, this is a really sick feature that OBS has and not a lot of other programs have. Basically, if you record with Fraps or some other source, or with some other, some other program, when you're recording your gameplay, typically you'll have your microphone and your uh, desktop audio on the same track. So if your microphone is super, super quiet and your uh, gameplay is really loud, you won't be able to hear your voice and you can't really change it. If you were to have separate audio tracks, one track for your audio for your microphone and one track for your gameplay, you could adjust them independently of one another. So you can increase your mic volume and you can decrease your gameplay audio. Really, really convenient and it's super awesome that OBS has this feature. So, because I want to use two video tracks, or two, sorry, two audio tracks for my voice and for the gameplay, I want to select one and two. And I'll leave the rest, three to six, I don't need. Next up, encoder, I'm going to leave that on 264, that should be enough, uh, or that should be the right encoder to use. If you have an AMD or an, an uh, NVIDIA option, give them a shot. I don't really have those options, I know some people do, depending on how new your graphics card is. I'm going to stick on 264 for now. Don't rescale your output. And then let's go down to rate control. So you've got two, there are two good options here, CBR or variable bitrate. So constant bitrate or variable bitrate, VBR. I recommend constant because there you don't have very many... Um, with variable bitrate, you can have audio desync issues, and it's kind of a pain to fix in post. So I like to use CBR instead. It's very, very convenient. So uh, constant bitrate. Now you can. Now this is where it's all up to you. If your computer is different from my computer. So I like to use like about 15,000 usually. I know a lot of people use like 30,000. I'm the like, like use huge numbers. Uh, by default, it's set at 2,500. So literally, what I recommend you do is tr set maybe like 5,000 and like do a test record, see how it works. If it works well, you know, you're getting good frame rates, your game's not crashing, this is great. Increase it to maybe like 7,000. And then if that's working and no crashes, go up maybe like 8,000. And then just see what works best and just keep increasing or decreasing to see what that perfect spot is to get the max efficiency for your computer. So I'm gonna set that j just now because I'm recording, recording already, it's pretty hard on my computer. I'll just leave it at 7,500, which is quite small. I usually set it on about 15,000, so keep that in mind. Next up here is a CPU usage preset. I believe the, the better computer you have, the slower you can go. I'll, by default, it's actually left on very fast, and the quality looks quite good, so I just usually leave it on very fast. But like I said, it depends on your computer, you have to try stuff around, and if you're having issues lagging, try increasing certain things and decreasing others, etc. Next up here is, you want to go to the under the, the left toolbar tab, go to audio, and then go to your sample rate. By default, it'll be at 44.1 kilohertz, I recommend you go up to 48. And then you want to go to channels, by default it'll be on stereo, I recommend you go mono. YouTube doesn't really care if you're on stereo or mono, they'll just down, <laughs> just change it all to mono anyways, from my personal experience, so I don't really care, I leave it mono. And then you have all your audio devices. So I have my, um, by default, my output device is my head, headset earphone Astro Mixam Pro. So if, if you're not too sure what your default auto output device is, go right click the uh, audio speaker, whatever, on the bottom right toolbar of your Windows, hit playback devices, then you get to see what you're using. So my default here is the Astro Mixam Pro. That's my default device, so I want to make sure that that's been used. If you want to add any others, you definitely can. I just don't use anything other. Like most people, 99% of people will just have two devices. They're just their computer and then their microphone. So then now I have your mic auxiliary audio device. I'm using my, my Blue Yeti, that's what I'm using right now. And then you can also add other microphones if you want, but I'm only going to use one microphone, obviously. 
Next up here is video settings. This is where you want to record, like, what you want to save your file to, whether it's 720p, 1080p, etc. I always like to record in 1080p in 30 frames, but you can definitely change that to 60 frames if you want to. Change your formatting uh, to whatever you want. Just make sure these are these two numbers are the same. Make sure that you're both in 1080p. That's just my, uh, my rule of thumb. It looks better, and it's actually easier on your computer because you don't have to convert or do conversions real time while you're recording. Very, very convenient. So anyway, hit apply. Then we're pretty much good to go. We're about halfway there. <laughs> Next up, you want to go to, you want to add your first scene. So you want to hit the plus, or sorry, hit the plus button here. We're going to call this Minecraft, just because Minecraft is such an easy game to run. I'm just going to run in the background. I uh, have it open right here. Let's go back to, uh, let's go save with the title just for now. So then let's go under the sources tab. I want to hit plus and I want to record a game. So let's do game capture. Uh, let's go create new. Let's call this, uh, let's just call it capture one. Okay. And now mode, you want to capture any specific window. I want to record Minecraft. But like I said, if you Minecraft was, was full screen right now, you could have done it record, uh, capture any full screen application. I'm going to do, do capture specific window because I know I want to record Minecraft. Here it pops up. And then I just want to hit OK. Now, as you can see here, because my Minecraft is currently windowed, I'm not actually playing 1080p, but I set my game to record. I set OBS to record in 1080p. So, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, disable lock preview. I'm going to drag the corner to fit the full box here, then hit right click and hit lock preview again so I don't accidentally move it while I'm recording. So there we go. We have our game going. We just need to record our audio now. So when I right click, you want to go to add and you want to go to audio input capture. So this is going to be our microphone. This is where you want to record our microphone audio from. Next up, what you want to do is you want to go to add, you want to record audio output capture. This is going to be our desktop audio, so our actual game audio. And then we pretty much should be good to go. To make sure that all of our audio tracks are working properly, you want to hit the gear under Mic Auxiliary or Desktop Audio. Go to Advanced Audio Properties. And then you want to make sure that Mic Auxiliary is in Track 1 and Desktop Audio is in Track 2, and that there's no overlap. That's pretty much all you have to do. Hit Close. And now we're pretty much good to go to record. There's one more thing I can change, is if you want to record with hotkeys. So this is what I always do, is I actually like to record with F10. So whenever I'm recording a game, I'll hit F10 to start recording and F10 to stop again. There is no pause button to record. You would just either hit start or stop. I don't like setting a pause button. I don't think you actually can. So, uh, you're not, not an OBS. So let me just clarify as well. If you're on a, on a laptop and you set the function keys to record, make sure that when you actually press them, you hit the function key and F10. Because usually on a laptop, F10, F12, F11, those are all used to like adjust your brightness or like your keyboard backlight. Make sure that this is just for laptop users, that you hit the function key and the F10 key at the same time. For example, if you're to use F10 as your hotkey. Anyway, hit apply, but you literally set anything as your hotkey as well. You hit like the, the L key to be your hotkey if you want to. It's just kind of dumb. So I uh, use the F10 key, hit apply, okay. Now we're pretty much good to go to record. So I'm gonna go to Minecraft, I'll hit F10 to start recording. All right, we're now recording. I'll go to single player. I'll start a brand new world. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Break a block. Uh, break some grass. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. I just stopped recording. Now let's go to where I save on my gameplay to, which is going to be in my PBR folder. Here we go. December 29, 2017. Double click. Or actually, yeah, double click. All right, we're now recording. I'll go to single player. I'll start a brand new world. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Break a block. Uh, break some grass. Three, two, ones. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. All right, so there we are. So that's our gameplay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drop this gameplay into Sony Vegas, so you guys can see that there's actually multiple audio tracks. So as you can see, the first one is probably gonna be, gonna be my voice. All right, we're now. Yeah, okay. So the red track is my voice, and the blue track is gonna be game audio. So I, what I can do is I can, I can literally mute my voice, and then I can just have gameplay audio in the background, or. I can mute gameplay audio and I can right, just we're now have recording. my voice we'll and I can just completely brand skip out Fraps. on the gameplay audio, which is so, so convenient, something that I couldn't do with Fraps, and it's just a really, really nice feature to have. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely drop a like ring down below, it means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for just under a million views on my last video on how to use Fraps. Definitely, I want to try and get this video to near that goal. That'd be awesome if you guys could. Subscribe for more Call of Duty gameplay. We get some more Call of Duty live comms and some more FIFA live comms coming out here as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.